Hello and welcome. In the last video, we had a discussion about the register model, how to define a register block and how to define a register class if our DUT has one register in it and that register has a single field in it F0. Okay. Now here in this video, I will be talking about the concept of an adapter. Already in the introduction video, we had a discussion about the adapter and we discussed that adapter responsibility is to convert the register transaction into its equivalent bus transaction and bus transaction to the register transaction. This is what the basic responsibility of an adapter. And if you see the test bench, uh, you know, architecture, you will find the adapter will be there in the reg model, which convert this register sequence or register transaction to its equivalent bus transaction. And that register sequence, sorry, the bus sequence we are going to use to drive through the agent, which consists of a driver and monitor to this DUT. And with this, we are converting the, we, we are updating the hardware register. Now, to understand the adapter here in our example, we are considering this DUT. So our DUT has a single register name is temperate zero, which is of eight bit register. And it has a single field called F0. So this is what the DUT register. And this DUT has several inputs and one output. So inputs are like clock, reset, active high reset, then address, then write enable. So if write enable is one, we are writing this D in data into this temporary register, temporary reg register. And if write enable is zero, we are reading the data from this register on this output port D out. Okay. This is what the LSB of this register and this is what the MSB of this register. So this is what a simple DUT which has a single register and this register has a single field called F0. So we are today we are going to understand how we can write the adapter class for this DUT which has a single register. Before the code of this adapter let me show you the standard structure of a generic register transaction type called UVM reg bus OP. UVM underscore reg underscore bus underscore OP. So there are some fields for this. Let me explain you that one by one. So first is a type, then the field and description for that. So first one is UVM reg adder underscore T. So this is a address field. Okay, so in the description you can see this is what the address field and this address field is default of 64 bits. Okay. Now the, ne now the next one is UVM reg underscore data underscore T which is a data field and in the description as you can see over here it is a write or read data which is also default to 64 bits. Now the third one is UVM underscore status underscore E. This is a status field and it is UVM is okay, UVM is not okay, UVM is unknown. Now the fourth one is UVM underscore access underscore E. It is a kind field. So what kind of, uh, you know, transaction we are doing read uvm read uvm write uvm rest write uvm rest read then the fifth one is uvm reg byte enable which is byte enable field used to enable the byte and the sixth one is unsigned int okay so n bit field and this uh, is used to show the number of bits being transferred. So this is what the simple description of a 
or simple structure of a generic register transaction type uvm underscore reg underscore bus underscore let me show you the code of the adapter for this dut so we, what we are considering this is our dut which has a single register in it and several inputs in one, one output port. so for this class we are going to write the adapter class let me show you the code itself so that you can understand this is what the code of an adapter so class adapter which is extending from uvm reg adapter remember i told you last time whenever we are defining our own adapter class we have to extend it from uvm reg adapter and it is it, it is an object class in the uvm uh, rel we have to register it with the uh, uvm object details factory registration macro and its default constructor expecting one argument. Let me show you the code once again. It's loading. So we have to write two methods as a part of this adapter. One is reg to bus, which is used to convert the register transaction to the bus transaction. And another is a bus storage, which is used to convert the bus transaction to the register transaction. So if we are defining our own adapter class, we have to write this two, uh, you know, methods. Let me show you the code through PPT itself. Yeah, it's loading. So as you can see over here on the screen, this is a class adapter, which is extending from UVM reg adapter. And as it is an object, we have to register with an object details factory registration micro and its default constructor expecting one argument. Now, as I told you, uh, this adapter class has two methods. One is reg to bus. So this reg to bus method is used to convert the bus transaction to its equivalent, uh, sorry, reg, reg transaction to its equivalent bus transaction. And another method is bus to reg which is used to convert the bus transaction to equivalent reg transaction. So let me show you the reg to bus class. So virtual function UVM sequence item is, is a return type for this method. And name is reg to bus. And within parenthesis, we have to provide two, sorry, one argument over here. Constant ref UVM reg underscore bus underscore op and the instance is RW. Now here we are creating the instance of a transaction class ITM is equal to transaction type ID create this ITM using factories create method. And here we have to update the bus transaction with a register transaction. So as you can see item dot write enable is equal to RW dot kind if it is equal to equal to write then make this write enable to one else make this write enable as is zero okay then itm dot address is equal to rw dot address and here we are writing if the write enable is equal to one we have to update the rw dot data into this item dot d in which is of transaction time so left hand side is a transaction objects okay. and right hand side is a register objects so this is what the reg to bus sequence and here just we are returning the it end function reg to bus now the next function is bus to reg which is used to convert the bus transaction to its equivalent reg transaction so you can see it is of white type which is not returning anything virtual function white bus to reg Within parenthesis, we have to provide two arguments over here. UVM underscore sequence underscore item and the instance is bus item comma ref UVM bridge underscore bus underscore op RW is instance for this. The instance of transaction class is ITM and here we are doing a dollar cast between this ITM and bus transaction bus item. Then we are updating the register transaction with the bus transaction. Okay, so RW dot kind is equal to 
if write enable is one then we have to update this kind with uvm write else with uvm write then rw.data is equal to item.data then rw.address is equal to item.address and rw.status is equal to uvm is okay and end function bus storage end class adapter so this is about the simple adapter class for our dot which consists of a single register in it okay for this uh, dot we are uh, we we have written this adapter class okay now let me show you uh, some methods are there rel methods which is you know related to the desired value and mirror value updation so some methods are there before the transaction so as you can see for desire value there are two methods set and get so this set is used to set the value of the desire variable whereas the get is used to get the value of a desire variable desired variable and this set and get will work for register model so with this set and get we are we are just you uh, know updating the desired variables of a register model not our dot hardware register the mirrored values method is used to get the mirrored value of a register model with this get underscore mirrored underscore value function we can get uh, with this method we can get the current mirrored value of a register model there are some methods called um, you know after transaction so after we are doing any transaction over dot at that time there are two accesses one is a front door access and another is a back door access so in the front door we have some methods called write read update mirror predict and randomize so this write is used to write the specified data into the hardware register and if we are doing any transaction on the hardware register the desired and mirrored variable will also update similarly read is used to read the value of the hardware register update is there which is used to update the register model desired value and same will update it in the mirror in the mirror variable then mirror mirror variable is there which is used to initiate the read transaction on the dot okay now the predict is there the predict uh, if we are defining a predict uh, method in the in the in the uh, you know parenthesis we have to provide a value so this predict actually uh, does the right operation on the dot uh, sorry it it will it will just do a you know transaction uh, in it will update the desired and mirrored value value of the register model it will not do any you know transaction on dot the next is the randomized method which is used to do some randomization we can generate a random value and we can put uh, that into a value variable and we can uh, you know uh, get the desired and mirrored value so with the help of example we'll try to understand all this method don't worry as of now now the backdoor access is there with in which there are two methods called poke and peek poke is used to you know it work as a write so whenever we want to uh, you know write data into the hardware register we can make use of poke method and same if you want to read from the hardware register we can make use of peek so here we are not using the help of an you know adapter in the backdoor access we have to provide some paths uh, so there are two methods to provide a path for a register uh, add uh, hdl path and add hdl path slice method we'll will understand this with the help of an example so this is what a simple uh, explanation for the you know adapter so the adapter responsibility is to convert the register transaction to its equivalent bus transaction and bus transaction to its register transaction okay so with this i hope you have understood the concept of an adapter and how we can define the adapter for this dot which has a simple one register in one field okay. and also i hope you enjoyed this video so thanks for watching thank you